Most people are bandwagon. Right so, here out of whatever. Miami and into an interconference game. Sit back and enjoy this presentation of NBA basketball on 2K Sports Fans. Hi, this is Kevin Harlan alongside Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. And now we take a brief check at the matches. Our starting five for both teams. And as we break down the game, let's take a look here at Steve Nash. Tell you what, I'd love to know how many of his assists have come by way of the screen and roll. Because you know, when he's the cutter on that play, inevitably, one of his teammates winds up with a layup courtesy of one of his passes off the screen. And another skill that sets him apart, his success rate on catch and shoot jumpers. It's not every player that has such a great feel for that particular shot. Take a look at the Lakers. Well, compared to last season, you'd have to say the start to this season has not been quite what you'd expect. They hope to, they hope to improve their record with the wins tonight, certainly. Now, here's Nash. Dishes it to Bryant. From six feet. That's good. Well, Kobe's never been shy about shooting. You know, a lot of people would argue that he gets maybe a little too shot happy sometimes, but you want a guy who's dominant. You want a guy who's not afraid, who's going to fail and just come right back and fire away the next time. Wade gets the bucket. He's got so much junk in his trunk. He'll find a way to hurt you. Nash with it. And Bosch picks him up defensively. There's the bucket. Good. Kamen's got his first points of the game. And when you talk about Kobe's role offensively for the Lakers, it's worth mentioning last oh. season was one of his most efficient scoring the basketball. It really was. And you consider the turmoil that surrounded the Lakers all season. It was remarkable that Kobe was as even keeled as he was. Stayed focused and start to finish. Oh no. The type of all star performance that he always oh, that's not does. Kim. I thought that was um, me playing as this ball. Perseverance paying off on the offensive boards, guys. Miami shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. Well, coming off a title last year, you always wonder if a team will maybe relax a little bit. They usually won't admit to it, but Chris Bosch readily said it at times that uh, his team had a difficult time lighting that fire again. Let me go back to what Bosch said. I think that is true for every team, Clark, that comes off a championship that they usually don't admit it like Bosch did. Well, you know what? Once you've won it all, there is a bit of a relief and a little malaise that may settle over you, but I've always respected Bosch's candor. He's a guy who doesn't bite his tongue, and he articulates what he feels, and I, I think it's impressive that they fought back to the finals once more because that shows they eventually did recapture that fire. The kick out to LeBron. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Here comes Steve Nash. Averaging six points per contest. Oh. I didn't even mean to do that. Kamen inside. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Kamen sets a screen for Bryant. Shot clock nice. at five. Terrific design on the pick foot, and he lays it in. Bryant got his second bucket of the night. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a nice look. Poor job by the defender to not fight over or around that screen. Chalmers. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Nice. That's a problem he has. I mean, not being able to knock down that open jumper. I think it happens far too often. Now, here's Wade. A 17-point game for him in the win against Charlotte. From inside, here's Bosch. Mm. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Bosch has got five now. Heat head coach Eric Spolster worked his way up from the very bottom in that organization. I mean, he got his start as a video coordinator and through years of hard work and dedication, has really become an outstanding coach. Nice. Shot side. That's 
good. And it's Kobe with the assist. Five points in the game. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. And here's Chalmers from the arc. The shot will not go. And the Lakers go on the other way. Slow it down, slow it down. And back to coach Eric Spolster. There's a guy who got his start as a video coordinator, picking the game apart. Steve, he's very oh, I get the rebound. The new advanced stat movement, analytics in he the is. NBA. Whoa! Yeah, didn't he just carry the ball? Quite a bit. He says that the way should be a travel. Advanced stats is just as a conversation piece in the coaching room. Uh, their their analytics department will it. bring them various oh, information, and it will force oh, them to ask no. questions, which is very healthy uh, for a coaching staff to do. Kobe, that's Timing for very two. early. Okay, target with the open look. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Kicks it out to LeBron. Again, the miss by the Heat. This guy's a good three-point shooter, but that was probably from a little bit too far. Yeah, not what I would call working to get the best shot either. Here's Kobe. Nice. Sinks that one from the post. Kobe's Taking quality shots. Six. Not rushing. That finish brings me back to the Playing the game. Silky smooth finger roll. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. Taking a look at San Antonio. Let's go. Ready to play. Chris Anderson has checked in for Bosch. Patty A comes in for Udonis Haslam. Allen's checked in for Dwayne Wade. And it's Norris Cole in for Mario Chalmers. Allen for three. The shot no good. Well, it was a little bit of a surprise, guys, going into last season when Ray Allen signed the contract with the Heat. Oh, come on, Hill. Money than the Celtics offered him. Okay. And no question Man. about it, there was some anger from his former teammates in Boston. You should dunk that. Why are you putting it off the glass? Just dunk the, the ball. By eight. The feet. That should be my steal, too. Cast that should be my steal in. again. There's the triple. The rebound by Blake. Boy, from my angle, it looked like it was in the bottom of the net. Looked good from here. Yeah, I thought so, too, Clark. And Clark for Ray Allen, I, I don't think joining the Heat was just about jumping on a winning bandwagon. I think there'd be some issues for him in Boston. <laughs> that should be out of bounds because I went, that was a little glitch, went through along. the glass. Allen wanted maybe a bigger role offensively. And in fact, you know, his minutes went down last season with the Heat, but uh, he clearly fit in well, came off the bench and really fit nicely with that shooting ability next to LeBron and Wade. I can't figure out, guys, what's going on with him this quarter. I mean, he hasn't gotten one shot to drop. Oh, no. To Blake. Here's LeBron. Count. The first quarter concludes in a double-digit lead on the scoreboard. Lakers Played fine. Except that last play I screwed up. That's a fun. We'll be back in just a moment. I'm up by start of the second quarter. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Lakers? And right from the start, guys, it's apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for them. We've got Hill. Powell Gasol is out there with Johnson. And it's Steve Blake. And it's Farmar in at the one spot. That's the Laker five. Pass to Hill. He kicks the Blake. It's tipped. Uh. Battier with the steal. And out of bounds is the Lakers Thank you. game possession. I'm surprised I didn't get called for a foul Steve there. I thought I grabbed him. Look at some of the numbers that he's put up. How this year has shaped up for him. He's around 10 points per game. Seven assists and three rebounds. 
They've been able to count on him to run the show offensively, which he's done with his sensational passing. Yeah, he's been setting them up with a lot of easy baskets. Room Should have passed it far more. We call him one great look after another coming off of his passes. Oh, but he lost it. Badiak kicks to Anderson. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. James, no good. And he's having all sorts of problems with his shot. I'm not sure he even has a shot right now, Steve, to be quite honest. Not a mm. reliable one anyway. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Burke. Doris, over to you. Well, Kevin, almost an unbelievable stat. But back in 2007, LeBron finished the season shooting almost 48% from the field. Since then, he's improved his field goal percentage every single season for six straight years. Last season, shooting over 56%. A lot of that has been his dedication to playing closer to the basket. LeBron famously said of posting up, quote, there's nothing fun about it. But since he's made that commitment, Coach Spolster said, quote, he has completely transformed himself as a basketball player. And in the process, he has completely transformed us. Two titles nice. back it up, Kevin. That's why he's a champion, Doris. Thanks. Yeah, such an amazing talent. He impacts the game in every way. Well, for the Lakers last season, it seemed there was so much turmoil uh, throughout the year. Injuries, uh, coaching-wise, uh, changes in the offense. And they never were able to really gain any momentum. They made a decent run at the end of the season. Thank you. I was about to say, I should be a backcourt, too. When they were swept by the Lakers in the first round. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Bryant dishes to Hill. Double by Chalmers. The three. And it's Hansel Very early, really? I think going back to D'Antoni and the hmm. Lakers, that Howard and Gasol were made more than a little disgruntled with how Clark he made use or didn't make use of them offensively. You know, the Lakers brought in D'Antoni to try to emphasize Steve Nash and his role in the offense, but I think they neglected how that would affect Slightly the early. Didn't do a really God, good job of game. incorporating those guys, and when you've got Kobe getting his shots, that's a tough dynamic to work through. Three-pointer, Wade. Wade missing again. From the wing. Here's Hill. The second chance. Oh. No good on the layup. Last game for the Lakers. It was a loss to the Trailblazers. You know, it was a little bit surprising that the game got away from them because for long stretches, they were the better team. They really were. Outplayed them. If you looked only at the stat sheet, you'd have a hard time figuring out how they lost it. But it was a case of a few intangibles that didn't play out in their favor that made all the difference. They'll make sure to call the foul on me. On him this of course. Quarter. Just hasn't been able to get it going. While we have a chance to do so, let's take a look at some of the numbers for Dwayne Wade. Seventh in steals, and with a top 20 ranking in field goal percentage, he's done a nice job of creating good looks for himself. And Steve, I think we should take a look back at his top 10 steals ranking that you mentioned a bit ago. I mean, that's impressive. This guy gets it done. Jumps the passing lanes when appropriate, but he also can pick the pocket of the ball handler, too. Came in a screen on Chalmers. Hill fires. That one a little long. Now normally that's a shot people make, but that's not really his bread and butter there. Well, really the heart and soul of this Miami team in a lot of ways, Adonis has born and raised in Miami. He's played his entire decade-long career with the Heat and just a tough, hard-working guy and a locker room leader. Don't go rage quit. Oh my god, he's rage quitting. The shot's good from oh. They look helpless defensively. Dang. Man. I should get the win.